Hi guys, it's Lindsay here. So welcome to another apartment renovation. So today I am back in the world of city living doing another apartment and this time it is for a single mom who lives with her two boys. I was thinking a child age sim and a teenage sim. So yeah, that's what I ended up doing. It has two bedrooms, one bathroom and I really just tried to make it feel cozy and somewhat like realistic and not very like expensive or fancy i really just wanted it to feel um just like a home basically um but before we get too far into the video i wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video which is monopoly go monopoly go is a fun and enjoyable mobile game bringing the nostalgia of the classic board game with a modern way to play with no board flipping or cleanup required scan the qr code on screen or click the link in the video description to start playing today my favorite part about monopoly go is being able to unleash my inner architect in monopoly go you can dive into the multifaceted experience of building sprawling cities collect property tile sets build houses and upgrade to hotels to maximize your rental earnings in monopoly go there are new opportunities every day. You can participate in tournaments, the prize drop Plinko mini game, cash cab, and hourly events with exciting rewards. Experience the classic fun and find your inner tycoon, meet your inner billionaire, and indulge in everything you couldn't in real life. Earn, buy, make friends and enemies in Monopoly Go. So start today by using my link in the video description or by scanning the QR code. Thank you again Monopoly Go for sponsoring today's video and supporting my channel. So here you can see the floor plan is pretty much coming together. I decided to add a little laundry space there in the entryway. I was going to do it in the bathroom, but I thought like a closet laundry room would just work a little bit better. And you guys may recognize this layout. Uh, a long time ago, I built in this exact same apartment building in this exact same apartment and I created a apartment for a large family living in like a small apartment and I think I felt like eight sims or something in here and the floor plan was very similar to this not as good as this and the main difference is we can move windows now and I'm very excited about it I haven't actually built anything since that update on this channel where I've been able to move the windows in apartments. So this is the very first one and I've been very, very excited about it. And it's just such a, it's such a good feature. <laughs> I've seen so many people ask for it to be switched back because there's been some glitches with like buildings and stuff, but I've had those glitches before this update. So what I'm assuming happened is some people weren't playing in apartments as much and the update made them come back to it and play and so they noticed some of the glitches that already existed. At least that's my thoughts. I don't know, I might be wrong about that, but I play in apartments a lot. And so I love this feature and I am very excited to be able to switch up the windows because it really gives you so many more floor plan opportunities. I mean, also being able to switch the door would add to that, but the door isn't as big of a deal. Being able to move the windows though really gives you a lot more floor plans. And so I'm very excited about that because it gets kind of repetitive trying to work around the same windows. Like you really can't come up with that many different floor plans that I've tried. So um, I love this feature and I'm very excited to be finally using it in an apartment on this channel. I did do one on my CC channel pretty recently. So if you guys aren't following me over there and you're interested in watching, definitely check that out because I think it ended up being a really cute, cozy family apartment as, as I tend to do. I, you know, majority of my builds are for families. But um, yeah, I really liked the idea of this family. I've definitely done a lot of single parent apartments, both single moms, both single dad, well, both single mom and single dad apartments and um, homes and stuff too. But I just like that idea because it's so realistic. There's so many families where one parent ends up taking over the majority of the, you know, care and stuff for the kids. And sometimes there's households where the grandparents take over or an aunt or uncle. And so I've done some of those, but I've definitely done the majority of, um, you know, single moms or single dads. But I love this living room, by the way. It feels so cozy and realistic. I even ended up adjusting like the lighting and stuff in here just to kind of bring the tone down and bring the warmness up. You'll see me messing with them here in a little bit. And I really liked the effect in here because the lights in here were just so bright and which is nice because then you can see everything clearly but I wanted it to feel a bit more dim and warm and so um, yeah you'll see that here in just a little bit and I think 
it really like gave the effect that I wanted it to have because not only did it bring that like warmness and stuff that I was looking for, but it also made it feel a little bit more realistic and not as fancy. Like sometimes I feel like the bright lights and everything looks so clean and shiny, whereas I wanted it to feel a bit more like on the cheaper side where I was, I was using cheaper furniture and not like the best wallpapers or um, appliances and stuff. Like I was trying to give it more of that cheaper look, but I think changing the lighting added to that. Let me know if you guys agree, but I really like the effect and I think it looked um, just really cute and cozy. And I really liked using these curtains in here. So very excited about it. Hopefully you guys will like it as much as I do. Um, over here is going to be the dining area. I thought these chairs looked nice. I liked incorporating like the red tones with this kind of like turquoise blue color. It's not like a super strong matchy matchy color scheme, but I was trying to bring them throughout the apartment just to sort of tie everything together and make it feel a bit more, um, cohesive. Like maybe the mom was trying to find things that matched, but I definitely didn't want it to be matchy matchy. Um, I put this lamp over here and it is hovering and I think you'll see that in one of the screenshots, but I didn't notice it here, but I did fix it before saving the apartment and it will be up on the gallery by the way. So if you are interested in downloading it and the address can be seen in the top left hand side of the screen. I think it's the 17 Culpepper house. It's one of the Culpepper houses, but um, yeah, over here is going to be the kitchen. And as you can see, I used the tile flooring that came with city living cause it is more dirty and basically not as pristine it's got some chips and cracks and stuff in it which I really like and so I didn't use like every like possible like dirty thing that I could I didn't use like dirty appliances or like the cabinets that came from city living or anything like that but I still wanted to bring some of that in and I think the tile was a nice way to do that just because it made it look like it was old flooring and stuff and I decided to use the tile on the walls from the I think it's called the home chef hustle kit which is too much too much of a name <laughs> it's, it's like such a mouthful in my opinion but um yeah i thought it looked really nice in here and i thought it like um had some nice colors and stuff and made it feel even more cozy and everything and i decided to add this mixing bowl over here in the corner but i do use a um, bar top counter just to hide it into the regular counter because um yeah i wanted it to be tucked over here in a specific location so it's not going to be functional I guess it's a functional item. I haven't actually played with any of those items that came in that uh, kit, but its placement is telling me that it's functional. But um, yeah, over here I decided to put a pet food bowl. I was thinking maybe this family had like a dog or something, and I'm thinking it's a rescue dog. I believe it was like a stray they found on the street somewhere here in the city, and one of the kids or both of them found the dog and they're like we need to bring him home because he's you know so cute and sweet and he's lost and he needs a bath and all that kind of stuff although did i put a bath in here yes i did so you can definitely give your dog a bath <laughs> sometimes i do interiors and there's no like bath and i'm like oh i want there to be a toddler here or i want there to be a dog and they need somewhere to bathe them but um yeah there definitely is in this bathroom um but here i'm just adding some clutter decorations up on the counter i thought this counter looked so cute i loved all of the different decorations i put over here and it really just made it feel you know lived in and decorated I think this counter here at the island should be enough for your sims to um, cook everything hopefully it's enough space if not then unfortunately you'll have to delete something um, or move something but in my experience with playtesting it should be functional but I haven't got a chance to play around with it yet so if I don't before uploading it to the gallery then um, yes that would be my suggestion but um I think the kitchens just look so cute with so much clutter. I wish we could clutter up every single counter <laughs> and still have it be functional. Um, that would be ideal, of course. And then over here, I decided to put a trash chute instead of a trash can because it doesn't take up any space. And I think it's kind of cool to have like a trash chute for a building. I just imagine you could just throw your trash in there and it drops down to like a large dumpster somewhere at like the you know, ground level of the building. And then I also put this uh, whiteout board up on the wall too. And I was thinking it was basically just for the mom and the boys to keep track of school events, sports events, uh, birthday parties or anything coming up like that. So I thought that was a pretty realistic decoration. And then I also wanted to add some decorations to the refrigerator. And so I put some sticky notes thinking that they were like, I don't know, grocery shopping lists or reminder notes. And then I also put some 
uh, children's artwork over here I'm placing a room down that I have saved from the gallery with some children's art and I just put one of the pictures up here on the refrigerator and of course using the tool mod to place it correctly uh, which is a lot easier than just using um, like the uh, move objects feature in the game it's it's definitely the way to go. So I know I mention this all the time, but if you don't have the tool mod or better build and buy, I highly recommend it. Both of them together is way better because then you can use the tool mod in build mode and you don't have to switch to live mode to use it. So yes, very much recommend that. Um, but over here is going to be the hallway. And I really had no idea what to do with the hallway. In the original apartment that I was talking about where I made a large family living in a small apartment, this was the dining space because the floor plan was so weird. Um, but yeah, it didn't have to be that way this time. And I think it looks really good, a nice cozy hallway. I tried cluttering it up with different things um, with like a yoga mat, boxes, shoes. I think I put like a backpack in here and some sports equipment. I was definitely thinking the teenager is really into sports, which I think is nice for city living because there's the basketball courts and stuff around. So I think the teen is always at the basketball court, always playing games and shooting around and stuff like that. Um, they're probably on some sports team at the high school something like that but um yeah the door here was having a bit of a glitch and so i do use the tool mod to pull the door slightly um hopefully that doesn't cause it to have any problems transferring through the gallery i imagine the original door will still be there when you place this but there might be two doors so i would check that just because yeah i did have to pull it in to get it to not look like that because <laughs> it was um kind of like stuck somewhere in the wall which is frustrating when that happens it happens with windows all the time in the game but um yeah over here is going to be the laundry room so I did forget laundry baskets I do have one placed in here but I delete it so I could place a couple of other things and then I forgot about it but when I was taking screenshots I realized and so I do place a couple in the bathroom instead there just really wasn't the space in here and I wanted to have a vacuum and I felt like a utility closet laundry room like this made sense to have um the vacuum in there but yeah over here is going to be the bathroom and I decided to go with this fancier shower because I'm still obsessed with it I haven't got over it I really like it but I think in this particular color swatch it looks less fancy and yeah I don't know maybe you guys won't agree but I think the building at some point upgraded the shower <laughs> and so I could have gone with the base game one that doesn't look as fancy but it's not as cute and I don't like it as much so yeah that's why I decided to do that um, but over here underneath these towels is where I end up putting the uh, laundry hampers so yeah I don't think um, there was really room in the bedrooms but I think having them in the bathroom makes sense because your sims are constantly changing in the bathroom and it's nice just to keep them in one place and of course close to the washer and dryer. But um, over here I'm cluttering up the bathroom sink with a bunch of different decorations. Of course trying to make it feel cluttered and somewhat messy and lived in and I don't know. I think it looks really cute. And here I'm picking out rugs and I kind of struggled with picking out rugs for the bathroom. I don't know. I like the one next to the shower but this one I'm not sure if I'm sold on it. I pretty much just wanted to cover up the dirty tile because I think the family that lives here probably hates the tile and it's like oh it's so dirty but maybe for whatever reason the landlord can't upgrade the tile or maybe it would increase their rent if the tile was replaced and they don't want that to happen and so they use rugs and stuff to try to cover it up as best as they can but I really liked using this shag carpet in the bedrooms I thought that looked so good and very realistic. I know my home when I was growing up had shag carpet because my home was built in the 70s and so it was like this shaggy burnt red color. Um, yeah, I didn't want this to feel like it was built in the 70s but I wanted it to feel like it was an older apartment. Um, anyways over here is going to be the boys room so I was thinking the top bunk is for the teen, the bottom bunk is for the child and the child, um, I ended up decorating his space very much for like space and science and like movies and stuff. So I think he's a bit of a, a little bit of a geek, if that's the right terminology. I'm not really sure if it is, but yeah, he's just into like movies and science and probably video games and those sorts of things. So he's just a bit more on the nerdy side, whereas the teen is a bit more jockey. He's into music and he's into probably parties and of course sports, like I mentioned, and probably chasing girls whereas the child sim is he's he's not into that yet maybe he'll be into that someday but 
not at this point. Um, but yeah, over here I'm just trying to find some books and different clutter decorations that I thought would look good in the room and suit the personalities of the two boys. So I just tried to incorporate teenage looking things and child looking things. I really like using these school projects as decorations. I feel like they add so much like just life and personality to a room and I think they look really cute and stuff. So yeah, I really like it. Um, but yeah, here I'm just picking out more wall decorations and things, just trying to go through the catalog to pick things that I think, um, yeah, like I said, suited the personality and everything. I wanted to use this basketball display with the hat and everything, but I felt like it looked a little bit too fancy. I don't, I don't really know what about it made it feel fancy to me, but it just felt like it didn't belong here and so I got rid of it I do place it again here in a moment because I was like maybe I'll get it to work but then yeah I kind of felt the same so I decided not to but yeah over here along this wall by the beds I just placed a ton of posters um, again with the lower bunk the sports or the science posters and movie posters and then at the top bunk all the sports posters and we have so many posters in game now so it's really fun to be able to create a personalized space for both a child and a teen now like I feel like we have a lot of a lot of personality. I'm hoping to see more because I do feel like it is a bit limited to like space and science and sports. There's a couple of other things like some art related posters and things like that, but um, it'd be nice to see a little bit more variety, but I'm pretty happy with the ones that we have now. Um, anyways, over here is going to be the mom's room. So the mom's room, I tried to make it feel like um, soft and girly and feminine and just like her nice cozy space and I thought this bed was perfect for that because I think I think the color is really nice and it doesn't match the curtains completely but I felt like they tied in together pretty nicely and over here I was gonna create like a vanity area and a workspace but I put the laptop on the kitchen table instead and I was gonna just do like a vanity area and I struggled finding the light that came with one of the kits. I forget the name of the kit, but you'll see it here in just a moment. And I thought it was interactive and I don't know if it's the way I'm placing it or what, but I did play test this and I struggled getting it to function. So it doesn't function as is. And you'll even see in the screenshots that it's in a different place. I tried, I tried my best. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong and maybe it's not a functional item. I mean, you can click on it just like you can any other mirror. And I wanted my Sim to freshen up in the mirror and she wouldn't do it. So I don't know what was blocking it and I couldn't get it to work. <laughs> it was very frustrating because that was my whole point of that setup was just a space for the mom to do her makeup, to store her jewelry, to get ready in the morning, to go to work and those sorts of things. But uh, yeah, it didn't didn't quite work out. So if you guys have any tips, please let me know. But um, yeah, here I'm just picking out a rug. I know there's carpet, but I still like putting rugs even if there's carpet, just because it feels like it ties the room together and it protects the carpet. <laughs> so when they go to move out, there'll be less like shampooing or places for stains to appear and stuff um but uh yeah even though the vanity area doesn't end up being functional like i would have liked it to have been i i still think it looks good that's the mirror that i was talking about so i end up shuffling things around i thought that maybe the sim could sit there and use it and then that didn't work and i was like okay maybe it functions like a regular mirror so i moved it to where the sim could stand and it still didn't work so i don't know but anyways this is it for the apartment i hope you guys have enjoyed and i hope you guys do enjoy the screenshot so as always thank you guys so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have and i'll talk to you guys soon bye